Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Jamal Charlo tells the middleweight division he's here. Anybody can get it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest unboxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chat, the channel donations, and the Patreon patrons. We working now. Jamal Charlo, he's coming off a, a one-sided beatdown performance over the number one. I repeat, over the number one. WBC ranked mandatory, which was a long time mandatory for Gennady Golovkin. Not to say Golovkin wouldn't have beat him, also. I think he would have based on his strength, but he never fought him. He had other fights that he lined up, Kell Brook or Daniel Jacobs or whoever. So that mandatory was never fulfilled. Jamal Charlo fought an eliminator and he made it look like some easy work. I was there. Now, Jamal Charlo did an interview with Premier Boxing Champs PBC, and he says, and I quote, I'm ready for anybody. I'm ready for whoever wants to fight me. Bring on the biggest names at 160. I'm the real Tommy Hearns. So he said he's the hitman. I feel it's my turn, and I'm going to go get it. It's a statement not just to Canelo and Triple G, but the whole division. I'm a young, hungry lion hunting down the best in the world. They can't dodge me because I'll chase and chase until I clean out the vision. If Billy Joe Saunders or Willie Monroe are at the top of their game, I'll go get them. None of them can beat me. I'm bigger, stronger, faster, and here to fight anybody that say they say is the best. So that's coming from the man, Jamal Charlo. Now, I got to admit, I like the confidence. People can complain and hate. I, I look at boxing from a realistic set of lenses. And this is exactly, in my eyes, this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You were a former champion in the previous division of 154 pounds. You left with a huge statement over Julian J. Rock Williams. And now you're in a new division with other people who they do say are, are very good or the best or killers or whatever you want to call them. And this is how you're supposed to be talking. This, I mean, I, I love it. You, you are a former champion in a previous division, and you're looking for a title in this new division. It's very simple, actually. So I like how Jamal is talking. He's this is what you. This is a fighter. You know what I mean? That's what a fighter is supposed to do. He didn't. Not anywhere in his interview did he say, "Oh, I ain't fighting Willie Monroe because I don't like his style," which Team Canelo openly said. You know what I mean? He didn't say, oh, Billy Joe Saunders, he he lost to um, Wolverine, so I'm not fighting him, or the money's not right, you know, put no ass in the seats. He said, I'm here to destroy whoever they say is the best. And I fuck with that. And I respect that. Pause. So let me know what you guys think. I do personally think um, there's a lot of great fights. David Lemieux, right? Demetrius Andre was talking about possibly moving up to 160. He was hunting him down. But, I mean, even without Andre, because he's not technically in the department or in the division yet. David Lemieux. You still got Daniel Jacobs, who just, he doesn't have a title right now. But, obviously, there's no real shame in his performance against Golovkin. But, you also have Canelo and Golovkin. You know what I mean? The, I told you guys the thing that's a little bit concerning for me is if Golovkin wins, it's all great. Because then he's going to keep his WBC belt. But Canelo's doing this, like, standoff with the WBC where he doesn't want to accept any gifts from them, any belts from them, doesn't want to give them any sanctioning fees, hates them, or whatever's wrong with his relationship there. So if he beats Golovkin, then there's, there's a high likelihood that we won't see Canelo versus Jamal Charlo, which is a shame because I think it's a good fight. But... If obviously if you don't accept that belt, then you can kind of play by your own rules. You know what I mean? You it's not mandatory you accept belt. Just like Daniel Jacobs, 25 Golovkin, he was gonna challenge him for all the other belts. IBF is the only one that makes you do the same day weigh-ins, and he opted out. He said he didn't show up for the same day weigh-in or contact him. Say, hey, I'm not, I'm not challenging for that belt. We want to rest up and, and come in comfortable. We got a big fight, so he was content doing that. So if, if Canelo doesn't accept the belt. There's no one that could really put it to him, stick it to him. But just from what I've seen from Canelo, even if he did accept the belt and was on good terms, 
there's still no one that can make him do what him or his team doesn't feel like they want to do. I mean, it's evident because Golovkin fight was supposed to happen last year, and he gave up the belt at that point of his career. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to worry about this right now. Boom. And then he handed the belt over, and he says time and time again, like, oh, I'm the A side, and this person, if, if he wants to fight me, he has to do this. So, I mean, he knows his power in the game and what he brings, and he puts ass in the seat. So that's the only unfortunate to me because I think Jamal Charlo versus any of them guys is a good fight with Canelo being no exception. But I like this attitude from Charlo. Let me know your thoughts. As far as his last performance, give the man credit. It's his first fight. It was an eliminator that he didn't set up, the WBC set up. He was the number two ranked, and he fought the number one ranked, and he made him look like Pinocchio. I don't know what the fuck was up with his leg, but he, he destroyed him. You know what I mean? He goes, oh, he was so much bigger. Big don't matter. I've seen Mike Tyson knock out guys who were 6'5", 6'6", and bigger than him. So, you know what I mean? It's it's about skill. Obviously, size matters. I'm not trying to make it like, like, like I said, like that's why I pick uh, Golovkin to beat Kell Brook because even though Kell Brook's highly skilled, he's jumping up two divisions. So, you know what I mean? Within reason, size matters. But when two guys are equal in weight and one's a little bit taller, but they're making the same weight, then it doesn't always matter. I mean, no matter what, even if Jorge Highland was uh, taller, I don't think he's out skilling or outpowering Jamal Charlo. And it's that simple. But I don't know why the criticism is just so funny to me. Certain fighters get all this immense criticism. Oh, he, he fought a bum. Just because you never heard of him doesn't mean he's not a ranked guy. He's not a, um, a threat to other people, things like that. Matthew Macklin couldn't get past him. You know what I mean? But when Golovkin fights Dominic Wade, who nobody had heard of, and we haven't really seen him fight since, then that's all good. You know what I mean? But anyway, I like Charlo's attitude. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.